All right, mindfulness drummers. Uh, this is your practice video, and so I want to go over the material we went through this week so you get a chance to play it uh, on your own. So we're gonna start with cause. So remember, the first thing is around 12 o'clock on your drum, you basically wanna have your wrist over that or slightly off center from it. You just have to play around with it and find the space where your wrist feels most comfortable. Now naturally what's going to happen is your fingers are just going to kind of hang over the drum. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my thumb on this sort of leather piece that I have. Yours will have probably a little uh, ribbon or something. And then I take my ring finger and I'm going to straighten it out and bring it towards the top. Now notice how just my nail is on the inside ring of the drum. Just like when I play a tech, it's just on the inside ring. My ka will be on the inside ring. Now notice when I play my ka that I keep my fingers. Hi, Josh. <laughs> uh, I keep my finger, um, my thumb down. Okay, so I'm just tapping. Now the one thing I want to do to get a good sound is I want to keep this ring finger straight and um, firm. Okay, so when I play my ka, I keep it firm. If I curve my finger, it sounds like this. That's a real, real tappy sound. But if I straighten it, it gets more sound out. So I want to have a firm ring finger. If you get too low on the drum, it sounds like this. That's a doom sound. We want to have a, like a tech sound. If I get too far on the edge, you'll just hear the rim of the drum. So there's the sweet spot. So the exercise I gave you just to remind you is set a timer and just play cause at a quick speed. Breathe. And play until you feel an urge to stop because it'll be a burning sensation or your body will need something. added Josh uh, sounds outside that's cool it happens so now I'm feeling that it's starting to burn and so I take a break Woo! and you'll feel and you'll eventually build those muscles up okay so the next rhythm we did is czar so I'm gonna close this because they're basically it started raining outside and now they're trying to clean up everything all right, so our czar pattern is doom, ka, doom, tech, doom, ka, doom, tech, doom, ka, doom, tech. And like I said before, that ka, you want to link to your doom. So if I only played the dooms in this rhythm, it would sound like this. Doom, ka, doom, tech, doom, ka, doom, tech. So you can start out with that if you need a little extra help getting the rhythm. And then you can throw in the tech next. Doom, doom, tech, doom, doom, tech, doom, doom, tech. Okay, so that, start there and get that doom, doom, tech. Now the ka, the way to get it in the exact right spot is you want to link it right before the second doom. So that sounds like this. Doom, 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 ka, doom, doom, ka, doom. It feels like skipping a little bit. Remember when you were a child and you liked to skip? That's what your hands feel like they're doing. Doom, ka, doom. Once you have these two pieces, then you can add the tech in. like I'm playing that rhythm a little bit fast from where you should start. So here's a good tempo for you to start the rhythm. Even the teacher makes mistakes. It's okay. What did um, Bob Ross used to say? Something about like how our mistakes creations we didn't plan out or something like that if you 
remember the exact Bob Ross quote, feel free to put it in the comments. Okay, so that's the rhythm. And if you feel like you start to get that rhythm down, try it a little faster, like do, ka, do, tech, do. Try to get that bouncy rhythm. keep it slow then keep it slow just remember that ka is linked right before that doom doom ka doom tech doom ka doom tech all right have a wonderful week good luck and keep up the drumming <laughs>